welcome to chemistry lover and here i am with another revision question and this time it is from csi net exam june 2013 so this is the problem you can see now i can solve this problem very quickly because i know the role of this reagents and if you uh, also know this role of these reagents you can also solve this question very quickly so the first uh, reaction condition is the uh, hydrogen peroxide in presence of sodium hydroxide and if you have an alpha beta unsaturated ketone so what it will do it will do the epoxidation so the first reaction step is the epoxidation reaction nucleophilic epoxidation and that will result this now the second reaction condition is tosyl hydrazine and the third reaction condition is a strong base potassium tart butoxide now here is the real uh, real trick of this question and if you can recognize this substrate and uh, what it will do with these two reaction condition you can solve this question very easily now if you remember the Asian moisture fragmentation so if you treat any uh, any this type of compound where you have a carbonyl group and uh, there is a adjacent epoxide the alpha alpha position there is epoxide and if you treat this with tosyl hydrazone and potassium tart butoxide it will result the Asian moisture fragmentation now the fourth reaction step is the catalytic hydrogenation now this catalytic hydrogenation will reduce the alkene sorry alkyne to alkene now uh, and that will be a cis epoxidation because you know that uh, this catalytic hydrogenation is a uh, cis uh, stereospecific reaction and that's why it will result in cis alkene now in the all the given option this option b only in option b there is a cis alkene you can see on option a although it is a result of asian motion fragmentation but the alkene is trans so option b will be the correct answer now let me solve the question uh, elaborately so the first step is the nucleophilic epoxidation you can see this hydrogen peroxide it will result this hydroperoxide anion that will attack here and it will generate this so i am writing here so it will generate after the attack it will generate this uh, this o minus over here there is enolate and now you have this o o h when this o minus come back it will go here uh, basically it will not go here it will attack over here and this o h minus leaves so out of that you will get this epoxide so this is how the nucleophilic epoxidation takes place now in the second step the tosyl hydrazine tas n h n h2 so the tosyl hydrazine it will make tosyl hydrazone so you will have this hydrazone derivative over here n h ts this epoxide now in the next step butoxide tart butoxide anion is given in the form of potassium tart butoxide so it will take this acidic proton and generate an anion over here so it will generate an anion over here now when this n minus push this bond go here and this epoxide opens so if this epoxide opens what you will get you will get o minus over here you can see and here you have double bond here you have n n double bond and here you have this tosyl now now when this oxygen lone pair push over here this bond will break so you can see this bond can break and this if the sigma bond can break then this bond has to break it will go here and this tosyl will leave so this is a this is all a concerted process and out of this what you will get is so here you are generating a keto group over here you can see you are generating a keto group over here now in this side you can see so here you will have a triple bond here you will have a triple bond so this is 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव पोजिशन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो दिस इज वन टू थ्री फोर सो इन दिस फाइव पोजिशन देयर विल बी अ ट्रिपल बॉन्ड सो दिस इज द केस एंड हियर नाउ दिस इज सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन सो दिस इज सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन ओके सो नाउ सो दिस इज एक्चुअली uh it will be diagonal so it will actually be like this so i can represent it like this here you can see so now if you just draw it you can see so, so total number of carbons if i count this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so total 10 carbon atoms so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 Uh, another four carbon atoms will be there. So this is this is the four carbon atoms, and now this will be this is one, two, three, four, five. This is five position. This is one, two, three, four, five. So this will be here. So here will be the keto, and after that uh, the H two PDC hydrogen palladium. This reduction will result in product B. So this. this alkyl in this alkyne will be reduced uh, in the cis stereo specific way and that will give you the cis alkene and not the trans alkene so this is how you have to solve the question so this this particular question has three concept one is the nucleophilic epoxidation and then uh, the asian moser fragmentation this step is called the asian moser fragmentation and the last is the uh, cis stereo specific catalytic hydrogenation so i hope that this video will help you in your preparation for the csi net exam thank you for watching